Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. AB is the diameter of a circle with center O. The points C, D and E lie on the circle. Line EC is parallel to line AB and perpendicular to OD or at 90 degrees to OD. Angle DOC is given as 38 degrees. Work out the angle BOC. So we are supposed to find the angle BOC which is this part of the angle. Now to start with we can see that they have given a hint here saying that EC is parallel to AB and perpendicular to OD which means the line EC is going to make 90 degrees with the line OD and since EC is parallel to line AB the line AB is also going to make 90 degrees with the radius OD. So if angle AOD is 90 degrees, we have the total angle BOD also given as 90 degrees. And to find the angle BOC, we have to just subtract the 38 degrees from the total 90 degrees. So we can write angle BOC as angle BOD minus angle COD. So we have angle BOD as 90 degrees minus angle COD was given as 38 degrees. So we get the angle BOC as 52 degrees. Now let us find out the part B of this question. Work out the angle CBO. So we are supposed to find out the angle CBO which is over here. Now let us consider the triangle BOC and the triangle BOC acts as an isosceles triangle because the side OB is equal to side OC as they are the radius of the same circle and if the two sides are same then angle B becomes equal to angle C. So let us consider the angle B as X. So we have angle C also as X and by using the angle sum property of a triangle we can write angle O which is given as 52 degrees plus angle B we have as X plus angle C as X they will all add up to 180 degrees. So let us further solve this so we get 2x equals 180 minus 52 and that is going to give us x equals 128 degrees over 2 which is nothing but 64 degrees. So we have angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 64. Since we are supposed to find only angle CBO here, we write angle CBO is equal to X which is equal to 64 degrees. Now let us try to find out the part C of this question. Work out angle EDO. The angle EDO is over here so we need to find out this angle. Before we find out angle D, let us find out angle C by taking the triangle O, let me mark this point as F and C. So we are considering the triangle OFC. Now since the line EF was perpendicular to the line OD, we have an angle of 90 degree at point F. And let us try to find out the angle C by using the angle sum property of a triangle. So we have angle C given as 180 degrees minus angle 38 minus 90 degrees. So that is going to give us an angle of 52 degrees. Now let us use a circle theorem to find out the angle D. And the circle theorem is given as angle at the center theorem. The theorem states that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with center O and there are two points on it A and B. Now let me draw an angle at the center of the circle by using these two points A and B. And the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point C. So according to the statement of the theorem, angle at the center which is angle AOB is equal to 2 times the angle at circumference of the circle. 
which is given as angle ACB over here. So for example, if I'm going to take an angle of 50 degrees at the circumference of the circle, then at the center of the circle, I have exactly two times the 50 degrees, which is 100 degrees. Now let us see how we can use this theorem in solving the given example. Now let us consider the two points C and D. We can see that the two points C and D make an angle at the center of the circle at point O and the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point E over here. So we can write the angle at the center angle COD is equal to two times the angle at the circumference which is angle CED. Since we have the center angle over here as 38 degrees, so let me write over here 38 is equal to 2 times, we need to find out angle CEB. So angle CEB is given as 38 degrees divided by 2 or which is equal to 19 degrees. So we have this part of the angle as 19 degrees. But in this question, we are supposed to find the angle EDO, which is over here. Since we know that the angle made by the line EF on OD is 90 degrees and the angle E we just now found it by using the angle at the center, we can find out the angle D by using the angle sum property of the triangle. So we can have angle E plus angle F plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Angle E we got it as 19 degrees plus angle F is 90 degrees plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Further solving this we get angle D is equal to 180 degrees minus 19 degrees minus 90. So that is going to give us an angle of 71 degrees. So we have angle EDO given as 71 degrees. Hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.